This video will explore the differences between reptiles and amphibians. Let's begin identifying common members of each group. Reptiles include crocodiles, alligators, turtles, snakes, and lizards, and a few more similar species. Amphibians include frogs, toads, salamanders, and a lesser known species called Sicilians. The first difference between the classes is how they lay eggs. Reptile eggs have hard shells around them. They are protected from dehydration and laid on land, usually buried. Amphibian eggs are most commonly laid underwater. They don't have shells and are surrounded by a jelly-like coating. The next difference between the two classes is the development of their babies. A baby reptile looks like a miniature version of the adult. They increase in size as they age. Amphibian babies have a larval form such as a tadpole. They undergo metamorphosis as they develop into an adult. Another difference is the properties of their skin. Reptiles have scales or scutes covering their body, which creates an impermeable barrier between the outside environment. Their scaly skin protects reptiles from dehydration by keeping water inside their bodies. Amphibian skin is permeable, which allows water to pass through. Water can pass through amphibian skin. They're at risk of dehydrating if exposed to excessive sunlight. Keep in mind, some species, such as certain toads, have special adaptations to traverse dry land. A final important difference is that all reptiles have lungs. They breathe oxygen from the air. Only some amphibians have lungs, and although they breathe through the air, they also absorb oxygen through their skin. Some amphibians have no lungs at all and get all their oxygen through their skin. It's important that lungless amphibians always remain wet. The oxygen needs to pass through a layer of water to enter their bodies. We hope this video helps you as you study science. Thanks for watching.